In this example, we want to use the direct comparison series test to determine whether this series converges or diverges. Okay? So in order to use the direct comparison test, we need to choose a series that resembles the uh, one that's that's given, the one that you see here. Okay. So the way you can do that, okay, is we can look at right, just look at the uh, the, the terms. Okay. So in the, in the numerator we have one, in the denominator we have a two and a root n. So what we can do um, is we we can choose one over root n as our starting point. Okay. So root n is more dominating than two. Okay. So it has more significance than the value of two. Okay. So that's why we choose that. All right. So this series that we see here is going to resemble one over root n. Okay. All right. So from here, okay, one over root n. Uh, this is a Right, this is a p series with p equals to one half. Okay, we can rewrite it like this. We have one over n to the one half. Okay. Alright, so this is a p series with p equals to one half. Okay, and since p is less than one, um, this tells us that it's diverging. Okay. Okay, so since it's this is a diverging series, okay, for the one that's that we chose, then we need to uh, then we're going to set up our inequality this way. Okay, so we're going to have the the corresponding uh, series, okay, or the for this or the corresponding sequence is we want to show that is less than the corresponding than the series uh, sequence for the corresponding series that we're given. Okay, so we're going to have, so we want to show this, we want to show that 1 over root n is less than 1 over 2 plus root n. Uh, we want to show that this is the case within our bounds from 1 to infinity. So just glancing at this, this is not true, okay, because 2 plus root n is bigger than root n. Okay, so we can verify that algebraically, right, this is just... 2 plus root n, okay, less than root n. So that means we have 2 less than 0. Okay, so this is obviously a false statement. So when this happens, what we need to do is we need to go back to uh, the original series that we chose and try to pick another one. Okay, so let's do that. All right, so let's try... Okay. Okay. Let's try the summation. Okay. Uh, one over n. Okay. So one over n sort of resembles like one over root n. So and we also know that this is a harmonic series, and and this harmonic series right is going to diverge. So this is harmonic. Okay, and we know it diverges. Okay, remember one over n. This is a spe this is a p series with p equals to one. Okay. Okay. So now let's set up our inequality. So we want to have we want to show that one over n is less than one over two plus root n. Okay. All right, and in fact, this is actually true. Okay, this is true for um, if we start from four. Okay, if we let n be four, okay, we get actually we get um, these are actually true. Okay, anything higher than four, this will be uh, one over n would be strictly less than one over two plus root n. So this is true for n bigger or equal to 4. Okay, and we don't have to worry about what happens for n equals 1 to 3, uh, because remember, earlier, 
in a few lessons ago, I explained that we can disregard the first few terms. If a series is converging, it will still it will still converge. Okay, if we remove the first few terms. If a series is diverging, and if we remove the very first if we remove the first few terms, it will still diverge. Okay. So this is fine. Okay, so this is true for any bigger or equal to four. Okay, and you can even see that graphically. Okay, this is two plus root n less or equal to n. So it's very easy. It's very easy to see that this is a true statement. Okay. Um, okay, and so therefore, since this is a true statement, okay, that means that our original series is going to diverge because the one we chose, right, the one that resembles this, one over n is diverging. So therefore, the original series that we have is diverging. Okay. So as a side note, I'm just going to go back to, okay, let's look at, take a closer look at this, okay. If we square both sides, okay, 2 plus root n squared, less than or equal to n squared, okay, um, then we can, then we're going to get uh, 4 plus 4 root n plus n less than or equal to n squared, okay. So you can see this, um, right here we have, this is on the order, this is on the order of 2, and here this is on the order of n. Okay. So we can clearly see, okay, it's the left hand side is um, not as dominant as the right hand side. Okay. 